Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Skyrim Let's Play. Uh, on the last episode, we made our way into Bleak Falls Barrow. And in this episode, our sole aim is to get through Bleak Falls Barrow. So I think it's going to be a bit of a shorter one, unless the enemies are ridiculously hard. It really just depends on the Draugr at this point. I know that the band like bandits are generally pretty low leveled using the uh, Skyrim revamped mod that we've got on. But the um, the Draugr, I'm unsure of what the scaling is like. I know that Bleak Falls Barrow is meant to be a beginner dungeon anyway because of it being a main quest. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on. I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. I know I am. It's been a long time since I played Skyrim um, to this degree. I mean, it, it's been about oof, six, seven months, <laughs> which is a long time by my standards. Considering it's been 10 years of pretty much playing it non-stop. Uh, but I did get a chance to play some other games. And of course start this YouTube channel. So I'm grateful for the the break that I took from Skyrim. Oh let me just quickly check. Yeah I am on Adept still. I've been doing some tests off camera. Um, on other characters. And I know that the difficulty between profiles is consistent. Let's see if we can take him down. Oh, we got a we got a frenzy. Or was it a fear? Got him. Three arrows, not too bad. What was he? A high woman. Take the arrow back. You know it's bad when you've done bleak fall barrels so many times that you just know what the uh the combinations are without checking. Okay, there's three skeevers here too. I'm going to go ahead and get my Atronach down there. Wait for them to come up. Just keep spamming Oak Flesh in the meantime. I think that's a Sneak or Pickpocket. Oak. Nothing there. You guys think you could uh, come up, join the party? We need to get our alteration up a little bit, which is why I'm letting the uh, Atronach take care of it. Just while we are in combat. Come on, come upstairs. Where are you? Have you run away? This is weird, they normally charge up the stairs after- oh, there we are. There we go. Thank you. That will do. That will do, pig, that will do. I already took the shit off the table, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go kill Arvel the Swift. And a big spider, <laughs> depending on um, how big the spider is. How strong he is. Gold meals. Gold. Get in there. Let's get this dagger out. Janassa, get in there, please. Stop hitting my Atronach. Oh my god, I can hit it through there. How are we doing? Watch ah! Slice and dice. That's what we want. Okay, Arvo. You're gonna get it, son. There we go. Don't wanna hear your honeyed words. I've heard about you in your honey words. Alright, that was awful. <laughs> that was awful. Forgive me, please. Ooh. Lots of gems. A little bit of gold. Nothing fancy there. Here, we want to get the uh, the sneak attacks on. Let's 
going to help me decide how high level this dungeon is. Can I get this bad boy? Fuck. Do you see that? One down. I got him in the hand. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, that would have been a nice combo. I think there's only three in this first room. There's a restless one there normally. Missed him again. Come on, do it. Okay, we're doing nicely. I'm not gonna. It looks like they're not giving much money out, so. We'll leave it right. What we want to do here. I'm going to use the staff to place further away. And then we get our bow back out. In fact, we'll get the uh, the orc flesh on the go. And then we'll get the bow out. Don't you see me? Hey, Janassa didn't steal my kill. He's still sleeping. He's lying. We are drained. Okay, what does that do? Total Majika is reduced. Stamina regenerates slower. Beneficial portions are 20% less effective, so we're tired. And we need some sleep. Well, we're not going to do that in here. I'd have gotten through absolutely fine if the button for sprint actually registered on my pad. I don't know why it does it. It only does it on Skyrim. The sprint button just doesn't seem to register. It's not a pad thing. I mean, this is a new Xbox Series X, and this pad's brand spanking, you know? There's one there. Oh, one shot. Also one right there. Also a one shot. It looks like we are adequately leveled to take on this dungeon. There's also one right there and right there. And here. Okay, this guy's here. Uh, uh. Janassa, you're meant to be the one... Oh, okay. I guess you did serve the purpose after all. <laughs> you left me fucking high and dry there, mate. I nearly had a sword up my arse. That's not what you're signed on for. You're my sponge. Okay. There we go. Sneak attack. Oh! Two shot. Very nice. Yeah, nothing fancy. We are making some seriously good, uh, good time on this. Okay, we're going to want to take some glowing mushroom maybe as well. Some iron ore, I don't think I'm going to bother. Oh, that could be handy. 55 points of damage in a 15 foot radius, that's really not bad. Okay, that's... Uh Oh, it's a restless. Nope. Nope. I'm hitting the ground. I don't know how. Seriously? There we go. Fuck me. That took some doing. 
stupid ground clipping. Okay, there's a guy up here, isn't there? It's normally a bit higher level than the rest of them. Yep. Okay, so we're going to want the old Atronach and Oak Flesh combo. Which way is he going? He's going that way. Oh, he's shouting. Oh, shit. Okay. Right, we're going to want the bow out. See the delay on that? Insane. Oh, no, he's dead. And he yields nothing. What's this one? Apprentice? Yeah, that's not going to happen. In what world does an apprentice level chest not get opened in Skyrim? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Um, it's a world where you have a mod called Harder Lockpicking, which makes it so really, unless you're specced into lockpicking, you just can't do it very well. Okay, we're going to sneak through this nice and slow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. We're through. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. We're not getting any... Okay, get that down. There we are. Oh, he can't see us. Hey, nice. We'll take that. I think we've done swimmingly well. Uh, damage 10. They're our best bet. They're damage. Yeah, we'll leave them. We've got the um, the Creation Club Arcane Accessories, which has magical arrows. I think just given the playstyle of this character, um, that's probably going to be the arrows that we go for. I did pick up the claw. Please tell me I picked up the claw. I don't even remember what the uh, the icons are meant to be. I just remember that it's everything needs to be moved twice in this dungeon. That's the way my mind works. <laughs> it's a numbers thing. It's not a visual thing. Wee. Now I know with MLU you end up with more Drogger in here. Oh, the Norvian. I have to see. I, I do like Skyland for that reason. I, mean, I like it for other reasons as well. But the Orvians are really nice. Really, really nice. Top job. No, I don't think there's any more Drogger in here. Now, you Skyrim veterans may or may not know this, but there is three chests in this room. Obviously, the main chest, which is where we're going to be going. There's also a chest up around the corner next to the waterfall there, and a chest over there behind that waterfall. There might even be more, if someone's explored this place even more than I have. Hmm. Yeah, there's one up there. Eh, jump. Right, let's go do this. I always check this first in case there's any nice goody- Oh, fuck. Oh, a new hand touches the bacon. I almost feel like saying no. <laughs> Just leaving it. Listen to this a shit. new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcree. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. 
Now, I'd be sorely tempted to do that if we were a spell sword or, you know, a sword and board build. But we're not. We are more of a, an archer slash conjurer. So what I'm going to do is... As per, get the word, please. And get Ruin's Edge out. Oh, come on. There he is. Oh, right in the side of the head. Not me. Uh, why are you not running? This whole sprint thing's really starting to piss me off. Okay, well, out of stamina. So there's one thing. Let's go ahead and... Stamina's increased by 16 points. That's a bit useless now. That was it. That's all we got. Okay, so we've got no... <laughs> We've got no stamina. Let me take a quick look at Ruin's Edge. Okay, that's pretty much out. It only takes a lesser to refill those, so that's not bad. I've got a bit of a sprint into the water going. Ah! My dears. That Fus Rodar actually whopped us. And he's down. Okay. He could, uh, he could fling some digs but he couldn't take them apparently dragonstone please I'll take that arrow back I'll take that as well just for disenchantment purposes alright we've done our part let's uh, have a quick look at the chests see if there's any goodies I don't think there will be they're pretty low level chests normally Okay, up and behind. There it is. Oh, it's a novice chest. This might take some time. Oh. Hey, not bad. Oh, 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 fucking typical. Where were you when I was looking to make staffs? But at least we have a spare. I think there's a couple of things that I want as far as this build goes. Um, I think the paralysis staff is just infinitely useful. So if we could go to, I think it's called Snapleg Cave. Something like that. Well, that was useless. Uh, if we can go there and just quickly run in, get the staff, get out before the witches fucking give us a spanking then that'll be really handy the sanguine rose would also be really nice there's nothing up here is there? no, no there's not firewood Ironically, we will need some firewood soon because we're going to need some camping materials once we start venturing further out. There's a good chance that we're going to need to camp up. Especially when you go like sort of thicker into the wild. It's alright when you stick to the main roads on survival because there's inns along the way and you can normally time it so you, you know when by the time you get to the next inn you just sort of rest up, uh, have a bit of food. Doesn't cost you much money and uh, you're good to go but... Once you start heading to the sort of uh, the extremities of the map, you're going to need to start taking camping equipment with you. Which isn't a part of survival mode. It is its own creation club content. It's the, um, it's, well, it's the camping one. So we're going to have to make it back round to Riverwood. We'll give the claw back to Lucan. Get a tiny stipend of gold. Oh, you guys can barely see this, actually, by the looks of it. So, In fact, it looks pretty much black okay let's uh increase the brightness for you i could put a torch on but outside it doesn't really light very far at all Uh, 
tell you what we'll do. We'll um, we'll change the night brightness in Vivid to be bright. Now, typically, if I was playing on my own, you know, dark nights is sort of part of the fun, but I can see more on uh, on my screen than you can on the recording. So I'd rather you guys be able to see where I'm going. I don't think atmosphere matters all that much when you're watching a YouTube video anyway. You just want to be able to see what the fuck's going on. When you're playing your own game though, of course, that's down to personal preference. I like it when dungeons are like pitch black and you need to take torches in with you, but... That doesn't translate very well on YouTube videos, I find. Any sort of recordings. Ah, here we go. I also added immersive hold borders. So you come across little uh, little borders like that too. Them wolves still there. Holy shit. I thought Hadvar had killed you. There we go. You can die. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother eating before I get to go rest up. At the sleeping giant. Just gonna Just gonna hash it out. Get all the way to the sleeping giant. Have a rest and then I'll eat. Before we head out in the morning. We'll head back and give the uh, the dragonstone back to Barangar. Okay, let's just quickly change this back to where it should be. Hopefully we get some more clear nights going forward. You're not the one I need to speak to. Ah, oh, fuck. I've just realised she's going to be with Farangar. We got rooms and food. Out. She owns the place. She does what she Inn's closed. Bars, feel free to sit and put your head down on the table for as long as you like. I won't bother you. Wow, I've actually... That is, in the ten years that I've been playing Skyrim, I have never seen those lines before. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. What you got for sale? Sate that appetite, hmm? Uh, we'll take that apple pie, please. Anything that's sort of 200 plus on the uh, on the food front is going to get a purchase. Mm -hmm. Okay, we might as well. We're going to have to leg it all the way to Whiterun. We'll jump on the horse. Grand. Oh, Lucan's shop might actually be open because of him being a, a quest character, so... A chicken. I'm stuck on a chicken. I wish there was an option like there is in Fable where you can just boot the chicken out of the way. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. You are welcome. 300 quid. I'll take it. Huh? Huh? I knew it. Uh, I will not attack a fellow guild member, but I will watch. I'll take that. I like how they're not interested in the things he's stolen. <laughs> you know, they're not bothered about giving people their balls back. Or their rubies. Just so long as he's dead, that's fine.
a little dark for you guys on there too. Well, you just kind of bear with it till we get a white run. <laughs> One thing I've been contemplating, I've watched a... Uh, oh, there's the old orc. No, I'm okay, mate. You don't need to speak to us. It's fine. Uh, one thing I've been contemplating is there's a mod called Display Enhancements. Uh, I'm quite happy with the um, the visual effect of Vivid. However, there's an option in Display Enhancements where you can blur the distance. I think that might be nice. Um, I've seen it on a couple of videos by a fellow YouTuber. And looks good. I quite enjoy the idea. So there's a preset on there that I might... I might dabble around with uh, between this episode and the next, to be honest, and see how it uh, how it looks. Why are we getting flickering lights all of a sudden? Here we go. So I'm definitely going to go rest up first. Because I believe your Balgruff gives us a reward. But my god, if it's a piece of heavy armor, then we're going to be stuck. Also, from the next episode onwards, we're going to be taking on some dragons, by the looks of it. I think I got the clean mug around here somewhere. Just having a quick, uh, quick look around, see if Sam's here. Nope. I enjoy this. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. No need. Need anything else? Just let me know. Okay, we'll go for good nine hours. Oh, we got a level up too. Okay. I think we go for stamina. I'm not going to look at the, uh, the perk point spread just yet. I'll address that a little later on. People have forgotten humor, poetry, and romance. I love a good sword fight. Oh, we could have slept in the companions for free, man. Here we go. Let's see what he sees. You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my way. I am. So what's happening with the uh, reward then? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. 
She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friends here alone. to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Oh, no, no, no. I'll leave you alone. Just send me a copy when Barangar. you deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Yeah, I'm unsure as well. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to leave it. I'm trying to shorten the Skyrim videos a little as well. Um, I feel like, you know, half an hour is really the sweet spot when it comes to being able to view content. Um, you know, if you want to stay on and watch more, you can always watch another one, but half an hour seems to be where it's at. So, thank you guys for watching. My name is Brian. This is Botched Up Games. And remember, if you can't beat them, watch them. Take care.